Now let's uh, animate the fuse. And this can be done by adding an extra node into the network here that will control the sort of slice up the, the fuse. So we're going to press tab carve, put this node in. You see it already cuts the, we're actually cutting the curve. So it cuts the curve based on this value here. So if we set that to zero, uh, we've got the full we can alt click to, to keyframe that. And then we can go to frame, let's say 180. We're going to go 0 0.999 and we're going to alt click to do that. And we'll go to frame 200 and, 200 and we're going to set that to full one, which means it'll be completely gone. And then we alt click on that. And you'll see we've got three keyframes key in the timeline. And if we want to turn on real time there, and we press play, we'll get a sense of how that's going to animate based on time. Now it seems to speed up a little bit, and that's because the curve is, you know, it has different slopes. So if we straighten that curve, then we'll get a more even uh, animation of that along, the, along there instead of it speeding up and slowing down. And there we go. So that sets up the animation of that piece, which is perfect. And we will, you know, use that later uh, to add other effects to. Now, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to put in a sphere. We need to cap the, the fuse. So we're going to put a sphere in, uh, in the same network. We're just going to put it at a radius of 111 and a center of 0 0.0075 and then we're going to put a uniform scale of 0 0.0075 so this makes it basically the same radius as as we had made the fuse we're going to set it along the z-axis and we're going to put rows and columns that'll match what we did so nine and eight that'll match what we did with the um, with the fuse so once we have that we want to get rid of half of it, so we're going to press N and we're going to go tab clip. And this will clip it in half. We can change the direction of that to 0, 0, negative 1. And we get a cap that's sort of the shape we need uh, that we can copy to the end of the curve. Now we're going to press the uh, A key. We're going to select and then A, shift, A, shift to select everything there. Press delete. And we're going to press 3, double click on the edge, and go tab polyfill. Uh, and that's already looking pretty good. And we can, you know, just go quadrilateral grid and set the tangent strength down. I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll use smooth instead. We'll go 100. And then tangent strength is 0. Okay. So now that we have that, we want that. Um, this little side network we have here to merge in with the rest. So we're going to go copy to point. We're going to put that down. And what we want to do is we want to get the carve in the one side and the polyfill on the other. Because uh, we want the poly, we, sorry, the opposite. We want the polyfill in the first and the carve in the second. Set the display. Now if we zoom out, you'll see that we're currently uh, connecting to all the points on the curve, uh, but we remember the one at the end is just called zero. So we want to set it up to zero. So now we only have a cap at the end, and what we can do is actually merge that back in um, to get a feel for the, how that's working. So we'll do that before we apply the normals. And so the blast goes in here, the copy to point goes here, and then that go the merge goes into there. Now, if we get in there and we zoom in, we go, oh, it's not really attaching itself very nicely to the end there. And the reason is um, the curve itself needs a little more information. Uh, we also, we're going to set that to zero. We didn't need the center to be up. And now we're going to add in a orientation along curve into the curve before that and that works and we'll set the y-axis turn that off and just have the tangent n so now 
the cap attaches itself to the end of the curve and as we even after the carve sort of carves away at it we uh, we get that cap in the right place now we press tab and put down a color node because we want to get the fuse at the end to look yellowish and we're going to do a color node as well on the other side uh, which we're going to make dark gray so we have color on both sides and that gives us sort of the look of the fuse which we can work with and we're also going to put another null object here we're going to break that off um, get rid of that y um, and we're going to call this cap out so at one point we're going to use the fuse which has everything together but we're also going to use the cap specifically uh, to help us create uh, some of the particle effects for this example